particular? I was very scared. Uh, I don't know, a lot of emotions ran through me and uh, I didn't know what to think, what was going to happen to me. Uh, uh, you know, just everything possible that could run through your mind ran through my mind. Would I ever play hockey again? Would I ever, you know, just all things like my kids, uh, would I be able to play with them again? Just things like that. After stumbling around and slurring his words, Brian Mullen, the New York Islander forward who helped his team through an incredible playoff run last season, found himself having strange thoughts for a 31-year-old hockey player and for a good reason. On August 11th, I had a, a mild stroke. Uh, I had a blood clot in my uh, left thigh that had uh, traveled up into my chest and uh, through a hole in my heart and uh, up into my brain. Open heart surgery was necessary to repair the hole in Mullen's heart. That was one heart ailment that startled the NHL recently. The other, Tommy Soderstrom, the Philadelphia Flyers goaltender. He suffers from Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome. That means he has an extra pathway in his heart that can cause the organ to suddenly begin racing three to four times its normal rate. On October 27th against Ottawa, Tommy felt the symptoms. I struggled to pick the puck when they were close to the net, and I feel like a little lightheaded. So, uh, but it was no really no big deal but for me. I, I want to play the second or third play, but they don't want to take any chances. And so after testing, doctors performed a fifth heart procedure on Soderstrom to try and correct the problem. They go into my groins, um, here and here, with two catheters in each groin, and one up there. And then they go to my heart and burn the extra pathway. Both Soderstrom and Mullen are hoping their operations were successful, obviously, but why take any chances on further damage or a recurrence? I don't think there is a risk. If there was a risk of a... Uh... Uh, me dying or this happening again or I would never do it I would never even try to come back for me it's like it's nothing I can do about it